Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today, we are going to be reviewing this product right here, which you may be thinking looks oddly similar to this product right here. Well, I was thinking the same thing. This just popped up on my Amazon homepage one day and I was like, what in the world is that? That looks like Color Wow Dream Coat. So I clicked on it, of course, and read a bit about it. And I was like, oh, they're definitely trying to be Color Wow Dream Coat, but for only $9.99. So I purchased it, tested it out myself, and I am here to let you know my thoughts on whether or not the Hair Chemist Limited Sleek Anti-Humidity Shine Coat is truly a dupe for the Color Wow Dream Coat. Let's jump into it. In case you're not familiar with Color Wow Dream Coat, I thought I would quickly explain what this is. Otherwise, this will probably be a confusing comparison video for you. Color Wow Dream Coat is described as an anti-frizz treatment that waterproofs your hair. It's supposed to contain an advanced anti-frizz formula that leaves your hair super glossy, glassy, and ultra smooth, and has groundbreaking humidity blocking technology that stops moisture from wrecking your style. Now let's take a look at the Hair Chemist Limited website to see how they describe this product right here, which again is the sleek anti-humidity shine coat. They say that this has an expertly developed formula that protects your hair against heat and humidity while increasing overall shine. They have in quotes in all caps, makes hair humidity proof. It helps to control and eliminate frizz while detangling your hair and keep your hair looking smooth and shiny. Get the ultimate glass-like shine to your hair, they say. So clearly the fact that this packaging is nearly identical to this packaging was no coincidence because this product has the exact same kinds of claims. In terms of price point, Color Wow retails for $28 and Hair Chemist Sleek retails for $9.99. These bottles do contain different amounts of product, Color Wow Dream Coat has 6.7 ounces of product, and Hair Chemist Sleek has 8. So according to my calculations, that makes Color Wow Dream Coat $4.20 per ounce, and Hair Chemist Sleek $1.25 per ounce. So definitely a better deal here. Now let's take a look at the ingredients and how those compare. The main ingredients that Color Wow utilizes to help to achieve their claimed benefits are cationic polymers and silicone polymers. These ingredients are supposed to compress hair strands into a sleek, silky, supple shape. I didn't know hair could be supple. And create a hydrophobic matrix on the hair, which is basically a barrier around the hair that repels moisture. And I know that that might be confusing for some people to hear because there's a lot of misinformation in the hair care space surrounding moisture and our hair. There are tons of products and brand marketing campaigns that focus on moisturizing the hair. There are a million videos out there that tell you you need to moisturize or hydrate your hair. But the reality is moisture moisture is actually not good for our hair. So the fact that this repels moisture, yes, is a good thing and not a bad thing. And this is something I've talked about a lot, so I'm not gonna dive into details on that in this video, cause that's besides the point of this video. But if you would like to know more about that topic and see some scientific sources that help to back up the fact that we don't wanna moisturize our hair, I'm going to list a video below where I talk all about that. Okay, so that is Color Wow. When we take a look at the Hair Chemist Limited Sleek ingredients right next to it, you can see that there are a handful of ingredients that are in Color Wow that are also in the Hair Chemist product. But for the most part, there's not actually that much overlap. So this isn't one of those situations where we can compare the ingredients list and be like, oh yeah, this product is basically the exact same thing as this product. Not quite the case here. Here. But the Hair Chemist product still utilizes the same kinds of ingredients as Color Wow Dream Coat. So even though the ingredients are not identical, they are still using cationic polymers and silicone polymers to achieve those claimed benefits. They're just not the exact same kinds of polymers. Are you crying? Why are you crying? I'm emotional. She's, She's got mommy crying. issues today. Tell everybody what's going on. Tell them. Go listen. This is therapy for you, Elsie. If you could pick one product, which one would it be? Which one? Oh, this one? She's spoken. She picked this one. <laughs> so is this a true ingredient dupe? No, but is it a product that still contains a lot of very similar ingredients to the original? I would still say yes. When it comes to using this product, I'm not seeing any instructions on their website, so I'll just read the directions that they have on the back of the bottle. You're supposed to shampoo and condition your hair as normal, rinse well, then towel dry your hair and divide your hair into sections. Then you will splay, splay? No. Spray the sleek anti-humidity shine coat, where am I? Evenly on damp, not wet hair. You'll want to blow dry each section using a brush to hold the hair 
taut, is that how you pronounce that word? So like holding it tight with a brush and it does require blow drying to activate. For best results, use this every three to four shampoos. Hmm. That is the exact same way that you use Color Wild Dream Coat. Shampoo, condition, towel dry, divide into sections, spray liberally, blow dry to activate. They just say with tension instead of saying pulling taut, whatever that said. And again, it's supposed to last every three to four shampoos. <laughs> I see what you're doing here, hair chemist. So to make this review as fair of a comparison as possible, I felt like it would be best to apply both to my hair at the same time, but obviously not on top of one another. Apply sleek on one side and dream coat on the other. That way there's no difference in the shampoo or conditioner or hair mask applied to my hair. There's no difference difference in the amount of buildup on my hair. My hair is in the exact same state. It's on the exact same day. So we can really see side by side how these two products compare. When it comes to how these two sprays feel, I would say they're very similar in the sense that they're ultra lightweight. So while most leave-in conditioning sprays are on the lighter weight side, especially when you compare them to something like a thick leave-in cream, these products are especially lightweight. They're the kinds of products that just don't really leave any sort of residue in the hair. You can't really tell you have product in your hair. It's like spraying water on almost. After spraying both of these products on either side of my hair, I went ahead and took my blow dryer and just did like an initial rough blow dry with no tension. The purpose of that is so that I'm not blow drying my hair with tension when it's soaking wet. That can be so, so damaging and it's just not worth it to me. So I do my initial blow dry until my hair is probably like 80% dry. Then I go ahead and blow dry with tension to make sure that I'm getting the best results I possibly can. So I use the Shark Flex Styler with a blow dry attachment for the rough blow dry and then I put on the paddle brush attachment to get that tension blow dry. That tool is incredible if you're looking for something to apply tension. I've said this before but I feel like the Dyson brushes just don't really give you much grip at all. Shark on the other hand gives you great grip so you get a better result with a product like this. Now let's take a look at my results. If I'm being totally honest I really cannot tell a difference between either side of my head. To me it looks like I use the exact same product. If you are wondering why one side may look a little bit curlier or wavier than the other, that's just because my layers fall differently on either side of my head and I did use my brush to kind of flip in my layers. So if you ignore that and really just look at, you know, the majority of my hair, it looks the same. Both sides look shiny. Both sides look smooth. Neither side looks frizzy. And the same thing holds true for how these products make my hair feel. Both sides of my head feel equally soft and smooth. That sounded so weird. The hair on both sides of my head feel equally soft and smooth. I really can't feel a difference to the touch either. And they both feel equally lightweight. Unfortunately, it is March in Minnesota when I'm filming this, which means that it's really cold and dry. So I don't have really hot, humid weather to step into to see how my hair holds up in terms of frizz. So I thought we could just do the little waterproof hair challenge right here, right now in real time. What do you guys think? On the Color Wow website, they have this little video and it says waterproof your hair challenge. Let's look at this. All right, guys, not only am I going to show you how to get this amazing glass hair, I'm going to show you how to make sure it's waterproof. Here I have some water droplets. This is going to act like moisture and it usually makes the hair frizzy. Watch what happens when I put the water droplets on the hair. They literally bead off the hair. So if you can see, they're literally rolling off the hair. So the hair is waterproof. So no more frizz, no more humidity. This is going to be an extremely, extremely scientific experiment. I have a dropper from a skincare bottle here. At this point, it's been two days since I applied these products to my hair. So I washed two days ago, applied Dream Coat to this side, Sleek to this side. And then since then, the only other thing I've applied to my hair is a little bit of texture spray just on the lengths and ends. That should not interfere with the results at all because Color Wow does say that you can apply product on top of it. So let's test it out. Also, I'm a little bit peeved right now because my ends were beautifully curled yesterday. And for some reason, they just did not hold overnight. Okay, he just dropped it. So this is the color wow side. <gasps> Did you guys see that? No freaking. Oh, okay. That one. Oh, there it went. Oh my gosh. Wait, I hope that this is picking up on camera. This is actually so cool. Okay. That one just disappeared. I feel like it's a little bit tough because my hair is really dense. So it could just like go inside my hair. Let's do one more, but hopefully you guys saw that. Like that was legit. That's so cool. All right. Color Wow Dream Coat, you are officially waterproof approved. What? Moment of silence for sleek. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Oh. Oh, that one rolled. This is so fun. Okay. All right. So to be fair, maybe what happened is I accidentally applied a little bit more Color Wow Dream Coat than I did the Hair Chemist Sleek. And because of that, there's more of a barrier on my hair, which makes it more hydrophobic. That could have happened. I don't think that was the case. What seems to be the case is that Hair Chemist Sleek is just not as waterproof as Color Wow Dream Coat. Okay, that definitely helps me to summarize my final thoughts on these two products. If you are mainly interested in using a product that's going to make your hair look super, super shiny, then I do think that Hair Chemist Sleek is a great affordable alternative. As you guys saw in the footage, there really is not much of a difference visually. I couldn't feel a difference between them. Same kinds of results. But if you also want that product to help to prevent frizz, or maybe the main reason why you're interested in this product is for frizz prevention, well then based on my very official scientific experiment, you may want to stick with Dream Coat. Keep in mind that I may have a very different hair type than you, so you may get a totally different result if you were to try to like do that experiment at home. And obviously that was not actually an official scientific experiment. That was like a knockoff scientific experiment where I was just playing around with things in real time, one time only. So those are not like official findings by any means. Obviously I know you guys know that, but I feel like I I have to say that just in case. Essentially what I'm trying to say is that my experience and my scientific findings may not be your experience and you may not have the same results if you try that you know, experiment of your own at home. So at this point in time, I definitely feel comfortable wrapping up the video by saying that Sleek is a good affordable alternative to Dream Coat if you're looking for a product to increase your hair shine. But if you're looking for a product that is ultra waterproof and really going to help to prevent frizz, then Sleek may not give you as good of results as Color Wow. All right, you guys, that is everything I wanted to share for today's video. I hope that that was helpful. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried Hair Chemist Sleek? Are you interested in testing it out? Are you going to stick with dream coat let me know either way i will make sure that both products are listed and linked in my description box below because i think both are great and if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend thank you so much for doing those things your support means the world thank you for watching my videos i love the freaking heck out of you guys make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days but until then i hope you have a great few days